Hey guys, so over the last few months we've been working on the lockdown wagon, slaving away at home, getting as much done on the bodywork as we can. But always looking to the future, how are we going to power this car? We're going to have this awesome car when we're finished, but how are we going to power it? Now Chrysler has some great engines available to it, from the sixes, you know, the slant and the hemi are just legendary engines here in Australia. Just pasting over the competition. I mean, no other sixes were comparable to those engines back in the 60s and 70s. You know, and then the V8s, you know, Chrysler has some great V8s from their awesome small blocks, the 340 to the 440 to the 426 and everything in between, some great engines. And then there's the Viper V10, which is kind of like the pinnacle, but, you know, Viper V10s are a bit thin on the ground here in Australia. And same with the sixes, well, they're not thin on the ground, but you know, we're not going to build this car and just put a six back in it. We want some V8 power and maybe something a bit more modern. So we put a call out to the guys at ACM Auto Parts and said, have you got any late model Hemis available? I mean, that would be kind of cool to put in this wagon. And they went, sure, we've got a Jeep sitting here with a 5.7 and we'll send it over and you can pull what you need out of it. And we're like, cool, that would be awesome. And then lockdown happened. It all happened right at that time. And it was kind of like, well, we can't take this car because we haven't got room for it. We can't leave it out the front because it'll get stolen. You know, it's just like, well, just put a pin in the whole thing for the moment. Come back to it when lockdown's over. Well, lockdown's over. We're back in the shed, in the carnage workshop. And ACM have sent us an engine. But this is not a 5.7 litre Hemi. No. It's better. Now let's have a look at what they've sent us. Out comes the night. So this engine come out of a 2012 Jeep Grand Cherokee. And for anyone who knows their Grand Cherokees, come around here, young man. Check that out. 6.4 litres of Hemi goodness. That's right. We've got ourselves a 6.4 litre Hemi. These things make 470 horsepower, all right? Just dead stock. They are awesome. If anyone's ever driven a Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT with either, the 6.1s are great, don't get me wrong. 6.1s are great, 6.4s are ball terrors. They are the bee's knees. And check out this goodness. This is going into our lockdown wagon, that's right. 6.4 litres of Hemi awesomeness. Now the question is, do we just leave it at that? I mean, 470 horses in a little A-body wagon, you know, the thing will go, it'll go to low 11s straight up, I reckon. This engine in that wagon, low 11s straight up. But, do I add anything to it? You know, there's camshafts available, intakes, Edelbrock have an intake that adds like 30 or 40 horsepower to these things straight away, you know. Um, there's some awesome camshafts available. There's guys that turbocharge them, supercharge them. There are a whole bunch of options available to us. Obviously it's got drive-by-wire throttle there, as most engines do. <sighs> these things, have a pretty decent sized bore on them, the 4.09 inch bore, the strokes like 3.7 inch strokes, so they've got a bit of torque to them. They're twin plugs, so two plugs per cylinder, which is a little bit painful because it means every plug change is, you know, 16 plugs, but at least they're easy to change right through the top of the rocker cover. Don't have to uh, deal with hot exhaust systems or any of that stuff, but I am so stoked with this engine. I mean, this is an exciting day. There's no doubt about it. It's a fairly chunky size power plant too, but, you know, everything's sort of tucked down, so it will fit in. I may have to, oh, I'll have to change the headers, I'd imagine. So we'll have to change these exhaust manifolds. Uh, especially this one because that looks like it'll run straight into our steering box, but still 
She is a large, chunky girl, and she is going to make a massive difference to our wagon. So obviously the sump I will also have to change, and I've just ordered one from the States. So we've got a sump coming that will suit an A-body Mopar, and I have to get some mounts for it as well. But the other beauty about these engines is they bolt up to the old torque floats. So the stud pattern, the bell housing pattern at the back is the same pattern as the old transmissions, the old Chrysler transmissions of back in the day. So that means uh, transmission swaps are quite easy. Gotta love that. But still, man, can't wait to get this thing into our Valiant. So you let me know, what upgrades should we do to this thing? Should we turbo it? Uh, like, they will handle boosts. There's guys that have, how much boost? That's the question. They're not an LS engine, you know? LS engines, you chuck them in, they're a dime a dozen, whack some boost on them, if I blow it up, well, you know, you just go find another one. Well, that's the way it used to be. Now, go price an LS engine. LS1 engines are about three grand now. There's no more thousand dollar LS1s anymore. They are worth some dollars. So, you know, we don't really want to pump a heap of boost into it and then risk blowing up. It's a 6.4 Hemi. I mean, these things are not dropping out of the trees. But there are options to us. And like I said, if we keep it naturally aspirated and maybe change the intake, put a cam in it or something, then, well, we can add a 100 horsepower to this thing without a lot of trouble. It's just, uh, yeah, do we want to mess with that factory smoothness? I will have to look down in the guts at some point and see if this has got the, uh, the MDS, which is the multi-displacement system, I think. The, I can't remember what it's actually called, but MDS is the code name, and it's basically where it shuts down cylinders for fuel economy. Some of these have them, some don't. I believe, going off the VIN number of our vehicle, that this won't have the MDS on it. And if it doesn't, well, that's really good because the lifters can sometimes crap out on those things because, you know, the lifters are designed to shut down and, and activate, you know, within hundredths of a second. You know, we don't need that complication. But, like I said, 6.4 litre Hemi. Oh, my baby. Oh, oh you're so beautiful. Oh, yeah. No, this is going to be awesome sauce. That's for sure. So, I guess I need to start buying up some parts. Like I said, I already got a sump on the way, pick up, all that sort of stuff. I need to get my engine mount sorted. I do have a transmission up the back there in the ute. Whether we'd stick that behind this, I'm not sure. Or maybe I'll just build up a, a tasty transmission to suit it. But, uh, man, I just can't think of a better motor to stick in that Valiant. This is going to be fantastic. And, you know, like I said, ACM Auto Parts have come to the party. So obviously we don't have a computer. It's neither here nor there. Yes, it would have been great if we had it because then we could have tuned it through HP tuners um, like they do with the barras and stuff like that. But, you know, we'll just run a Howtech or something like that because, you know, we've got experience with those. One thing on these engines that you wouldn't have to deal with with the 5.7s or 6.1s is they have this oil cooler set up built into them. So we will have to either plumb or block with them off. I don't know that we can get away with blocking it off. Probably plumb it use it, keep the oil nice and cool. They've got oil squirters up under the pistons. The heads flow some amazing figure. They're like 340 or 360 CFM or something like that. Just insane for factory heads. They are, they've just got massive ports on them. This is the later motor, so uh, these are the ones that have got variable cam shaft timing and that sort of thing, where the earlier engines didn't. But, um, yeah, I think we're going to be able to use this to good effect. There's no doubt about it. It's going to be a lot of fun. So, thanks ACM Auto Parts for sending that out to us. I just can't think of a better engine to uh, repower our car. And, uh, 
you know, if you've got a specific demand you need, just ring them up because, man, they've got so many cars. They wreck, it, wreck out 80,000 cars per year. So they've got a lot of engines available to them, gearboxes, differentials, whatever you want. You can jump on the website or better off giving them a call, talking to one of their sales representatives, and that way you can get yourself the engine that you need delivered to your door like they did here. I mean, this got delivered to us and this is gonna work real good. So, we'll get this into our Valiant sometime this year, well, maybe early next year, <laughs> probably not this year, early next year, get it ready for Red Centenats next year. We're gonna cruise this thing on up, have a blast.